unfortunately, my my wife uh, Charuta and I we have lost two kids to cancer in the in the last ten years. Uh, Shruti uh, was nine years old when she passed away in two thousand nine, and uh, Aditya was um, uh, almost twelve when he passed away in twenty fifteen. And both Shruti and Aditya were amazing kids. Uh, they were smart, extremely positive very wise uh, for their uh, for their age and um, and that really uh, has pushed both charuta and me to think about who we are why we exist what is our own purpose and i think uh, the more i think about it i've come to a realization that uh, you know my own purpose is to bring a source of positive energy possibilities uh, to the world uh, the smile I bring is the asset, and I represent this positivity for everybody going through a tough time in this world of uh, of so much demoralization. I represent optimism and hope, and McKinsey has just given me a platform to be able to do this and uh, and do this at scale and have impact. And I feel very very blessed, uh, Deepak, that the universe, our family, our friends. Uh, you know, you are a, a part of that. Uh, uh, have all helped me and 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 Charita sustain ourselves uh, as we go through this journey, uh, Deepa. Mm, it's a uh, it's it's uh, it's hard to imagine what you might have uh, been through, Ramesh. And and if I may, please feel free to uh, move on if we need to. But but one of the elements also is how do we handle it when we are going through it, right? At some some stage. Uh, you're able to look at it with a little bit of distance now, but but especially given all the trauma we are seeing around, given COVID and even otherwise, uh, if you had to reflect a little bit on uh, what you would tell people when you're going through these periods of extreme uh, trauma, if I may use the term, any any uh, perspectives you'd like to share, Ramesh? Yeah, and we've touched on some of that uh, even during the session, uh, Deepak. We talked about the two phases of, you know, call it the survival slash recovery phase versus the reimagination and setting the purpose phase, right? So thinking about where you are and having an honest assessment of your of state of being, state of mind is very important. And when you're going through that uh, trauma and, uh, and the intense trauma, I have found it, uh, you know, important to, again, really have practices that help you deal with the anxiety, being present, taking it one day at a time. Uh, you know, both Charuta and I would always say, do we know, and some of our, the, the doctors we worked with at Memorial Sloan Kettering, they were incredible advisors to us to say, take life one day at a time. Do you know what you need to do today? Uh, that's great. If you need to plan for a week, that's useful. Whenever we would ask them about the prognosis of our kids, they would say, if we give you too optimistic a view, you're going to then, if something bad happens, come back and, and blame us and lose credibility. If we give you too pessimistic a view, you will not lead, live your life. And like, what's the point? So really being, you know, taking life one day at a time uh, is, is, is what we found helpful. And that's my advice. And then the last point I'd say is, you know, specifically if you're going through a medical crisis, we actually found it helpful. Again, it takes a village, which I mentioned to you already, but we had people who helped us with our medical choices. Uh, my brother, a few others who are in the pharmaceutical industry. We had a few people who helped us with infrastructure. It takes a lot to, to you know, prepare food, to get medicines, to transport people, etc. And we had a group of people who helped us with our emotional support. I uh, Very often, I feel people underweight the, the emotional support required when you're going through a tough time. So really focus on that. We've been working with a therapist, but also the friends and family that I touched on uh, who then helped us through this uh, the emotional challenge. Uh, and in this day and age, you know, I another person I interviewed was, uh, was Richard Barth, the CEO of the KIT Network uh, recently. And he was talking about the, the challenge of mental health in this COVID environment. So really putting disproportionate weight on that, dealing with your own anxieties, loneliness is so important, uh, Deepak. 